Okay, so I'm going to try and figure out what to talk about. Uh, there's nothing to talk about other than today I got a new dry box and it's there. Well, lucky I'm wearing jeans, huh? not boxes. This is string and it has lights. Ah. But the problem is I measured the size of the cupboard and the dry box fits. It fits too nicely. It's like there's not much clearance here. And when you open the door, the dry box kind of shifts slightly. And I can't open the drawers because of the gasket. So it's it kind of works. But if I'm not careful with the shifting, the door might not close. But other than that, it's great. I got a new dry box. And I am playing around with uh, recording on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and my Moment anamorphic lenses. And it's kind of cool because the USB-C adapter you can plug in. I mean, with the USB-C port, you can plug in almost any USB-C adapter and you can run an HDMI cable to an external monitor and record to an external external drive like a SD card or an SSD. I think SSD is probably safer because right now I'm recording to an SD card and there's this flashing there's this flashing thing and I don't know what on earth is that? By the way, did you know you can have kind of a pretty cool trippy effect? If you point your camera at a monitor that is monitoring the camera. So I don't know, this might completely fail. But I would say this night has been quite fun with the new dry box and this uh, moment case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Along with that, I got news from Panasonic, the Panasonic Repair Center and they told me that basically the rattling sound in the at the shutter mechanism, that's a real thing. I don't know why the Panasonic cameras for the G9 Mark II has this rattling sound. Why would you make that a feature? It's very annoying when you hold the camera and you kind of like hold gently vibrate your hand because sometimes you're tired or something you can hear this tick, 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 tick sound so that's normal because i went to a camera store and they let me play around with the g9 mark ii and it's like that as for the microphone for the g9 mark ii my g9 mark ii it really is kind of damaged and he told me that the repair cost is not worth it it'll, be, it'll cost like 600 dollars to prepare the shitty microphone which honestly is really not worth it because i was supposed to get a great deal on that g9 mark ii buying second hand <laughs> basically trading in my gh6 because i sold my gh6 for a thousand six and then i bought this g9 mark ii for a thousand six so if i need to pay an extra six hundred dollars on top of that i might as well bought a new g9 mark ii <laughs> with no problems and warranty so I'm gonna take it back and he's kind enough to not charge me the diagnosis fee la. so I'm kind of happy to get back my camera tomorrow and today is day two of learning to talk nonsense in front of the camera and actually I don't know anamorphic kind of cool if there was another nice lighting behind or something it would probably be nicer than just this one fluorescent no, it's not fluorescent, it's a long LED tube. Yeah, right, that's it, bye-bye.